Hey guys, Apple Fanatic here. Uh, making a quick video. So, uh, making a quick video on a program that I thought I'd give you a little tutorial on how to use, and you know, just it's a good program for people that have a lot of photos or have a couple notes that they want to keep on their iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch when they are restoring or when they are jailbreaking. Um, so if you are jailbreaking or you are a no person that likes to jailbreak, you know that there are always risks involved in jailbreaking. Um, whether it be, well, up until, you could never get in trouble for it, but they will try to scare you saying you can get in trouble for it. But now that that's, it's been legalized, it, you can't get in trouble for it. But, um, you know, breaking it or, you know, corrupting the firmware. Corrupting the firmware is the most likely one. Um, and Or getting stuck in a DFU loop. And if you've tried um, IREB or Reboot Me, good job, a Mr. AJ Stack, um, or Tiny Umbrella, um, you know that occasionally you've gone too far into the firmware process, restore process, that it just doesn't work anymore and you have to restore. So um, I'm here to show you a way that you can back up one or two or three or five or ten photos without having to sync through iTunes, and then you can just very simply put it back on your device after. Same with Notepad. Um, Notepad's a little different. I'm not going to get into that, but it's basically you can transfer it over to your computer, put it on your desktop, but you're not going to be able to view it until you put it back onto your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. So I have here in my hand my uh, trusty two ger second generation 16 gigabyte iPod Touch, my eye test, as you will see what it's called later. Um, so let's get into the video. And next step, the next process is going to be how you, um, where you start. So let me exit out of the camera. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up this process right, here, um, program right here called iPhone Explorer. Download it. It's free, hundred percent free. Um, works for Mac and it works for Windows. Uh, ignore the PC requirements or Mac requirements for iTunes. Doesn't really matter. Um, it does if you don't have up to that date. But if you have iTunes 10, it doesn't matter. Um, but you need at least 7 or 8 or 9. Um, so what you're going to want to do after you've downloaded the program, dot .zip for both of them, I believe. Um, unzip it. It will come into a program that looks... Um, unzip to a program that looks like this. iPhone Explorer. You can see iPhone Explorer. You're going to want to click on it. It's going to open it up, and it's going to detect your device. Uh, make sure your device is plugged in at this point. Um, if it's not plugged in, it will be no problem. As you can see, my device is gone now because I unplugged it. Plug it back in. You don't have to do anything special. Um, it will just define it itself automatically. As you can see, it's, sorry. Um, as you can see, it has not anything used just because I don't have anything on this device. It's purely for testing, um, as you can see by the name. I test. Um, so, we're going to scroll down, you're going to see the root of your uh, phone right here, root, and then you're going to have apps. When you click on the apps, if you had apps, like if you have apps, I don't, you'll see a list of your apps. Um, but we're not going to get into that. Um, root, scroll down, wait for everything to load, and then you're going to want to go down to user. Ignore all of this because it is just for, it's basically your core of your phone and you don't want to be screwing with that if you don't know what you're doing even if you know what you're doing I don't recommend screwing with it because you could always screw your iDevice up, I device up and you would have to restore um, or worse um, so you're gonna want to go down to user double click or click on the arrow so you either click on the arrow or double click um, you can screw around with these um, if you go to live you see the library hold on yeah, library and you go down to Notes. I made a note earlier. See right here. Um, you can't actually read it because it's not in a file. File the Mac can read. Or I assume Windows can't read. So you'll just be stuck with a unusable um little file. I guess you could call it until you put it back onto your computer. So, but we're not going to get into that uh, too much in this. This is going to be more for media transfer. Um, so you have opened up users. You're going to want to go to the media. And then here you're going to see f seven, eight. You're going to see a handful of uh, folders. Uh, you're going to have the first one's going to be books. This is going to be uh, books. Like, well, obviously it's going to be books. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like, uh, you know, like the books that you download uh, from iBooks store. Don't iBooks. It's like, I don't know. It's, it's like the electronic books. Um, you know what I'm talking about. 
this is your pictures. This is what we're going to be working with today. Um, downloads, iTunes control, photo data, photos, podcasts, purchases. So iTunes purchases and memo, voice memo recordings. Um, this is, I believe this is, if I can't show you, I believe that's a different type of file. Don't worry about photos. Um, occasionally, if you have an, an issue um, with taking a picture on iPhone, your iPhone in you in here, occasionally you might get saved to here. So if uh, you can't find it under your DCIM, which it should be under, check it. But gen 95% of the time, 99% of the time, it will be under DCIM. Um, so you're going to hit or double click DCIM, and it's going to reveal two more folders, miscellaneous and 100 Apple. You're going to ignore miscellaneous, and you're going to want to open up 100 Apple. Here, you are going to get a list of folders, I mean programs, pictures. You're going to get some JPEG files and some PNG files. These are all picture types, um, and they can all be viewed on the computer because it's got that little thing. Um, I'm not going to open up the G G J JPEG files because they are of people. I've gotten them off Facebook because of um, stuff that's were sent to me and I like them so I saved them in my iPod Touch. Um, yesterday, last night when I was helping a friend jailbreak, I was bored, so I went on Facebook. So, next step is going to be to I will transfer these two files over. These are some some that was fourteen. So I'll transfer that one over. These are some screenshots. Um, screenshots I took of my screen. So let's open it up and show you what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay, so let's just do it on here. All right, so as you can see, that was weird. Yes, Joe. All right, so if you, I open it up, and this is the picture that I got off my phone, um, on my iPod Touch, rather. Um, this is Mr. AJ's text theme. It's really cool. Um, check him out. He's pretty cool. This is uh, you all know Time Off. If you are in iPhone, I downloaded a bunch of. Uh, Repos. I don't. I put the repo for hack my iPhone the blog that I write for on my iPod Touch just to check it out. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Most of it's silly, um, but I like it. It's kind of cool. Um, so like eight times now. So I'm gonna close it back out. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm trying to make the video as quick as possible, making it under eight minutes, ten minutes, uh, nine minutes. I don't know. Making it under less than ten minutes. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can transfer over more data if you like. I don't recommend doing any more because you really don't know what you're doing. I showed you what I I know more, but I'm not gonna get into it. So um, that's how you transfer over files. If you have any questions, PM me um, or email me. Actually, don't email me. That's weird. Um, PM me. Um, stay tuned. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Um, we can do a giveaway for that. Um, yep. So stay tuned for that. Um, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me for the latest information on the jailbreaking world um, and tutorials. Um, and of course, like my videos. I don't know. Of course, I want you to subscribe. I just what I should have said. And like my videos, and of course, subscribe. But I just have to go. Um, and of course, here we go. Check out my video. Uh, check out the blog hackmyphone.com. All the links will be in the description. Um, yep. So five five hundred giveaway, five hundred subscriber giveaway won't be as big as an iPod Touch, but it will be nice. Um, so I'm gonna wrap the video up up trying to get under nine minutes. Um, so for Apple fanatic, this is me saying peace.